Hello, in this short video I will introduce you to Visual Studio Code and then we'll see how to set up this environment to start working with PowerShell. Enjoy! We start with a clean account i.e. a local machine that does not have Visual Studio Code installed. So let's open a browser and find Visual Studio Code on the web. It's uh, quite simple. Once we are on the right page, we need to download uh, the correct version to our local computer. As we can see, we have several different types of installer because Visual Studio, this is a big advantage of the application, is multi-platform. That is, uh, this application is available for different operating system, Windows, Linux, Mac OS. In my case, I'm using the Windows version, so that's the version I will download at this point. The download starts and once the download is complete, run the installer file to start the installation. The default installer is so-called um, user installer, uh, which is the version of this application that uh, will be installed for a single user. If you want to install the same application for all users, of the same operating system, you have to choose the system installer, which is also available for download uh, on the main application page. For the purposes of this demonstration, there is no need to download another version, so I will continue as a user. Accept the license agreement and install in my user's uh, default location. After these two options can also be useful to make it easier to open the entire folder with the code directly from the context menu available under the right uh, mouse button. Also in my case I will uh, check these two options. And we start the installation. After just a few seconds the application should be installed and we'll be able to launch the application and see the welcome screen. Application has been installed, we can run it. Let's take a look at what we have available when the application is installed and run. In the main window, the application welcomes us with brief information about what it offers. We can move on to the next section or select the theme we want. We can read about it or configure the application to our needs by, for example, installing additional extensions. About this in a moment. Centrally, one of the desired extensions for Z Visual Studio will be Kit. As in any application, at the top we have a menu which consists of several items. File Edit Selection, View, Go, Run, Terminal and Help. On the left side we have uh, the most frequently used options and these are as follows. Explorer, where we we'll have the ability to view all files. Search, uh, search for content in files in a given folder. If the folder we are working with is configured to work with a code repository, Run and Debug. This section allows us to run and debug and uh, preview various variables uh, when we are working with code. And extension. This section, on the other hand, allows us to install a bunch of different extensions, which, uh, depending on our needs and on how we work with Visual Studio Code, this allows us to improve our work. I'm going to install an extension right now that's called PowerShell because we are going to work, uh, work with PowerShell and this extension is uh, the first that we are going to find on the list offered by Microsoft. 
and such installation can be started right now. The installation has started and after a few seconds the extension has been installed. At the bottom we will see that it starts to run PowerShell session for Visual Studio Code application. As we can see PowerShell is present in our terminal window. At this moment we would like to check if it will be present if we create a new file. Since the file is not saved yet, it needs to be saved. in order to apply the code formatting available within the PowerShell extension. And at this point we also have the option of running the entire script. If we have problem with launching PowerShell session, we can try to restart that session, which should result in correct launching of new PowerShell session. Apparently, we must install the latest version of package management. And at this point, our PowerShell session is already started. We can see that this is uh, version 5.1 and uh, at any time we can uh, do as a set restart current session, which will also restart all variables that were available within this session. Once the PowerShell extension is installed for Visual Studio Code, we can run the entire script by simply clicking the run icon. Or we can just run the code of our choice whether it be one line or more by clicking on the second icon or simply clicking the F8 key. And this is how we can work with multiple files in PowerShell in Visual Studio Code.